My name is Mona Hatoum and we are in my Berlin studio. I don't consider myself very much to be a studio-based artist because I tend to work in many different situations. This is the, the largest uh, room in my studio. Um, and as you can see, it's a shop front, which is quite nice on the ground floor. I like to be occupied on a daily basis uh, making things myself, mostly making very uh, small, discrete objects. This is something um, actually from an installation called Interior Landscape. And now it's falling apart, so I've had to remake it. So this is the kind of handmade things that we do in the studio. <laughs> this is a piece I made in Amman, in Jordan. You know, going to junk shops and picking up pieces of furniture. It's called static. It's people with static lives who just sit around in those kind of situations. This is another room which was supposed to be an office. Um, this work on the floor, it's called uh, Baluchi Blue. We have um, taken, taken the, um, the pile out of certain areas, so it looks like it's been worn out. But then you realize that those patches uh, make up a world map. Often the work is about conflict and contradiction. And that conflict or contradiction can be within the actual object. A work like Untitled Wheelchair, on the one hand, the person who would use this wheelchair would need someone to wheel them around. But the, the presence of the knives makes you think that they resent that dependence. There's a whole kind of internal conflict happening within that piece. In uh, the work called Incommunicado, which is um, an infant's cot, it has these bars that are there for protection normally. But when you approach it, you realize that the, um, the platform has been removed. And uh, instead, you have these very taut wires. So immediately, uh, your perception of the object turns into the opposite. It's not anymore about protection, it's more about you know, a situation of abuse or danger. Sometimes the situation I'm working in can be uh, politically charged. For instance, in 1996, I was doing an exhibition in Jerusalem, and um, I came across this map of the Oslo Agreement, which was drawn between uh, Israel and the Palestinians. So I decided to actually draw this map on a bed of soap. Maybe instinctively I did it on soap so that uh, the implication is it's a temporary material and eventually it will dissolve and with it all these borders will disappear. At the time we didn't think about conservation very much so it's all drying out and shrinking and going brown. So now what we're doing with the fresh soap is we're covering it with Liquitex uh, to seal the moisture in so that hopefully it will stay like this. I always say the most exciting thing about uh, being an artist for me is that I never know where the next exhibition is going to take me to in the world and what I will end up uh, making. Um, and I find this very exciting that not knowing